G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be taking you through my stab at what all 18 clubs would have as their dream AFL trade. Now I'm not intending to be super realistic with the suggestions that I have, but I also didn't go quite as far as just picking the best and most elite player in the position that each club needs. So for instance, I could have just said Paddy Cripps or Nat Fife for every single team that needed a midfielder to their list, or I could have just said Brody Grundy to every team that needed a ruck. Now I've dialed it back to add a little bit of a degree of realism, and I also haven't doubled up on any player between any of the 18 clubs. So I'll go with the standard routine of starting at A for Adelaide and ending with the Western Bulldogs. Before I get into the rest of the video, guys, don't forget to check out our friends at manscaped.com who are extending their special through October, offering 20% off to True Footy viewers and listeners using the code TRUEFOOTY20. So if you go to manscaped.com, you can get 20% off their products using our code. But without further ado, let's look at the Adelaide Crows. Now, my logic for this one is Adelaide are a rebuilding side who have lost a lot of players in recent years. So in my eyes, their ideal trade would be a young South Australian talent. And for them, I've picked Gold Coast Isaac Rankin. He ticks the boxes of being an elite young talent a South Australian player, and on top of that, he's such a marketable talent as well, which would really be a boost for a struggling club like the Adelaide Crows. Next up, we've got the Brisbane Lions, and the irony of this is that the player I've got them taking as their dream trade at this point is the player they'll likely end trade period with, and that's Joe Danaher. Brisbane has elite talent pretty much all across the ground, but what they do lack is a big key forward presence to assist young Eric Hipwood in that forward line. Now, while Danaher has had three seasons where he's barely fired a shot playing just 15 games, he's still only about 26 years old and an elite talent, that's for sure. If he can stay fit and on the field, the partnership between Hipwood and Danaher, while potentially inconsistent, could also be extremely dynamic. Next up, we got Carlton, another player who may actually end up at this club at the end of trade period, if you believe today's rumours. So with Carlton, I felt like their midfield is strong, their back line is very strong as well, but what they could use is some forward line talent. Maybe not a key position player because they've got Mackay and Kerno up forward, but an avenue to goal perhaps that can link through the midfield as well. And I've gone for Jordan Dugowie. We know how good Dugowie is. He has the potential to be a 50 to 60 goal forward, and he can also run through the middle as well. I think he would really add a dynamic edge to that Carlton team. Next up, we got Collingwood, and I'm going to say Charlie Dixon would just about be their ideal key forward candidate. Charlie Dixon was obviously all Australian this year. Doesn't matter that he's a little bit older because Collingwood's profile of their list is a little bit older as well. What he is, is a strong marking beast of a key forward, and that's really what Collingwood need to assist their medium to smaller types, even someone like a Meyer check at the moment is one of their key avenues to goal. He would really help by bringing the ball to ground so they can basically piss off Mason Cox. Next up, we've got Essendon and in light of their key forward, Joe Danaher requesting a trade to the Brisbane Lions, they're going to need a key forward talent to join their ranks. This is where I'll nominate Jeremy Cameron, who probably fits their age profile a little bit better as their younger club than Collingwood as well. If Jeremy Cameron suddenly decided he want to play for Essendon, that would just about be their ideal trade candidate. Next up, we've got Fremantle. And as a team that's been rebuilding for a few years, we've finally seen their key pieces of the puzzle coming together. But for me, even though they have Jesse Hogan and Matt Tabata, what I really think they lack is still a key forward presence who can be a reliable source of goals. Yes, Tabata had a great season, was nominated for the All-Australian Top 40, but he hasn't been a consistent kicker of goals. That's why I'm going for the homegrown Aaron Norton, who is like 21 years old, I believe. So he fits their demographic well, and he has the potential to be an elite key forward. Next up, we've got Geelong, and this is a particularly tough team with not a lot of gaps. It does look like in the recent rumors that Jeremy Cameron might be signing a deal to join them to partner up with Tom Hawkins. But I'd say other than the key forward, I'm going to look at potentially a young elite midfielder to join their ranks and preferably someone around that 22 and under mark. That's why I'm going for GWS's Tim Turan. Tim Taranto's recently won a BNF at the Giants, so he's good enough to make that team as it currently stands, obviously. But further than that, because he's so young, he can really lead that next generation of young cats. Next up, we've got the Gold Coast Suns. And again, this was a really tough one to pick, just one area of the ground they could bolster. But I ended up deciding on a young key position talent. In light of them having Ben King up forward, I decided to go for a young key back. And I've actually gone with West Coast Tom Barras. 
He's only 25 years old, so he fits their age profile of being mature now, so he'd improve him straight away, but also be around for a good six or seven seasons. He's certainly not the best key position talent out there at the moment, but I do think he would be a really good fit for this football club if they got to choose. Next up, we've got the GWS Giants, who are obviously going to be a little bit cash-strapped this year with some salary cap concerns, although potentially Jeremy Cameron's leaving as well. But putting salary cap aside for the minute, what they really do lack is an elite young Ruckman. Given that they're contending for the here and now, but also ideally would get someone fairly young. I'm going to go with St. Kilda's Rowan Marshall. He's already a very, very good young Ruckman. He's only 24 years of age. He would well and truly hold his own in that team and supplying that midfield, that would be a huge plus for that club. Next up, we've gone with the Hawks and they're another team that need key position talent. This time I'm focusing on the back line. James Frawley's obviously just retired earlier today as I record this. So I'm thinking their ideal trade would be someone like Carlton's Jacob Wiedering, a future captain of that club. Could have justifiably been All-Australian this year and at just 22 or so years old, he has got a long future in front of him. With Hawthorne's young list demographic, I think Wiedering would be an amazing picker. Next up, we've got the Melbourne Demons. Another tough one to pick because they're actually a pretty well-balanced side, but have decided to look at outside run, even though they picked up Tomlinson and Langdon last year. Now, their ideal trade would be someone like a Josh Kelly, who, in my opinion, is one of the most talented pure natural outside mids in the competition to lure him home would be their absolute fantasy. In reality, it's more likely they're going to have to settle for a cheaper option, someone like a Jared Pollock or an Isaac Smith. Next up, we got North Melbourne, who need plenty of talent all across the ground. I don't mean that disrespectfully. I just think they have a few holes they need to cover. This one's a little bit left field, and I don't know if North fans will appreciate me putting this as their dream trade, but I genuinely think someone like a Jaden Stevenson would be an amazing pickup for that footy club. He's a North fan. He's out of favor at the Pies, and he's still super, super talented and an absolute goal machine on his day. I think that would be a really good deal if North managed to pull that off. Next up, we've got Port Adelaide, one of the contenders this year. So again, a really talented and balanced list. Probably needs some tall timber down back, but I've actually gone with the local Jack Lacocious, who of course is playing back at the moment, if not in a true key back position. He could also play forward, which is where he was originally intended to play. I just think because he's probably the, one of the best, if not the best South Australian young talent out there, that is probably who Port Adelaide could hand pick if they could pick anyone. Next up, we got Richmond. Again, I'm picking a player they're already actually linked to, and that's Adelaide's Brad Crouch. Obviously, Richmond are contending at the moment. They're at the top of their powers, but they also need someone young enough to sort of guide that transition through so that they can keep this premiership window open. Brad Crouch has always been linked to them. He's a good midfielder on his day, and I could just think if he gets in a system like Richmond's as opposed to Adelaide this year, he could actually really take his game to the next level. Now we've got the Sydney Swans, who again are a young rebuilding side, sort of like North where they probably could have a few holes around the ground to plug. But they're probably the most glaring one is the position of a ruck. Now for them being a young list, they're going to look at who are the youngest and best ruck prospects in the league. I'm actually going to take Tim English for them. He's a young West Australian talent who's pretty undersized still for a big ruck. He's super athletic and if he fills out properly, has the potential to be a very, very good and dynamic ruckman. I'm sure City fans could think of someone they want more, but I think Tim English would be a beautiful pickup for the Swans. Next Next up, we've got the young St. Kilda Footy Club who have bounded into the top eight this year and even won a final. At the time I record this, they haven't actually played Richmond yet. They plugged a lot of their holes in last year's trade period, added a ruck, added some outside speed as well. To be honest, there's no absolutely gaping hole in their list as far as I can tell, but maybe a top end elite talent, maybe someone who can actually push forward and kick goals as well would be ideal. Again, I'm picking an elite player here who I was hoping to avoid, but I'm going to say Toby Green would probably be a pretty ideal St pick up, especially given he's only 26 or 7 years old. Next up, we've got my boys, the West Coast Eagles, and this was extremely hard to do even for an Eagles fan. Again, even though they're a team that exited week one of the finals, they don't really have too many gaps in the list. Again, even though they're a team that was bundled out in week one of the finals, their list balance is actually pretty strong. Forward and back are very good and their midfield just added Tim Kelly as well. As I said in my Eagles video recently, what they lack is young midfield talent and that's why I'm going to pick a left field one here. I'm going to say West Coast Dream Trade is Fremantle's young Adam Chera. I'm a big fan of his work. He's a smooth moving, classy midfielder in the mold of someone like a Pendlebury, which is a comparison that gets overused. I really do think he would suit the Eagles style. And if I could pick any young midfielder out in the comp, he would be one of the first I would go to. Finally, we've got the Western Bulldogs here who again are a midfield heavy side, but maybe forward and back aren't quite as strong. They added Josh Bruce and Alex Keith in the off season last year, but haven't quite got the results that they wanted. With Aaron Norton being such a dominant talent up forward, I'm gonna say 
their back line needs more focus. And I would look at the centre half back of the 22, under 22, all Australian side. If Jacob Wiedering is not available, you're going Noah Bolter from the Richmond Footy Club. He's a super athletic player who came on leaps and bounds this season. And I think he would really fill a hole nicely for that Doggies club. And I think he would really fill a hole nicely for that Bulldogs team. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Let me know in the comments what you think, what I got wrong, or what you would actually love for your team. Let me know. As always, if you're new, make sure you hit subscribe. Go check out manscaped.com if you want 20% off on premium ball shaving products. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.